G'day guys, Troy from FM Life, and welcome back to another episode of the Youth Development Guide here with Gomez. So if you remember back to uh, the previous episode, what I did state was I was going to loan him out for six months, and that was back in January um, of, of this year. So at the moment, we're 31st of August. He's still at the club. Uh, he did not leave out on loan. And the reason for that is I failed to realize or forgot that uh, you can't loan out a player that's 16. So at the moment, 17. His birthday is today, um, August the 31st. So... Um, I'm still going to do that challenge. I'm going to loan out uh, Gomez for the rest of the year um, on one save file. The other save file, what I'm going to do is I'll keep him at the club and we'll come back right at the end of the season and then we'll go through what attributes have changed um, and um, where it's kind of made the difference. So we're just going to compare loaning out a player and keep him at the club with your good training facilities. Okay, before I loan out any player, uh, what I want to do first of all is um, I want to make sure their personality is as high as possible. So at the moment, it's professional. Um, it can go a little bit higher, but professionals is is where I want it. Um, so that's the first thing you want to look at. It's very important before you loan out the player uh, because you can't get tutored when he's out on loan and that won't increase. Uh, so you've just wasted basically a year of his uh, progression. So that's the first thing. And I will only loan out my hot prospects if they've uh, got a professional personality. Uh, at 17, 18, 19... Uh, that's when I start to kind of look at loan deals and if I think it's kind of worth it. If I don't think that I'll get Gomez in the first in the first team for some FA Cup or some League Cup matches. Uh, the next thing you want to do is have a look at the reports. Have a look at what his uh, current ability is. And uh, according to my scouts or my coaches, um, his current ability is at Skybet uh, Championship Football. So that's the league that I'll look to be uh, loaning him out to or higher. The other thing you should do is uh, probably not wait to the last day of the transfer window, but um, it was the only way possible I can get him out on loan. Um, then when we get our loan deals in or our our uh, transfer bids, um, what we want to look at first is that league that is suitable in. So it's only the top three there, the Skybet League, I oh know Sheffield Wednesday as well. Um, League one, you know, below championship level, you don't want to even look at, don't entertain it. Um, next thing we have a look at is what is squad status within the side. Uh, so for the other championship level sides, um, he's got a, a squad status of squad rotation. So it's a, a bit of a risk. I don't really want to uh, send him out there and he only gets about five or six starts. I want him to be playing regularly if I can, because when a, a player is playing regularly uh, at, a, at a level that he's suited, um, then you'll see a bigger boost in attributes, especially in the mental attributes um, as well. Um, so squad rotation, it's, it's kind of a hit and miss. Sometimes they'll break into the squad. Maybe there's a few, a few injuries. What you can do also is have a look at the squad itself. So for Sheffield Wednesday, for example, if you know everything else fit the bill, I can have a look at their squad, see who is occupying uh, Gomez's roles, who's in the uh, you know attacking mid or the winger roles, um, and just see um, just see who's in those roles. So if there's a lot of players that are above him, then I definitely won't loan him out. Um, but at the moment, unfortunately, because of how late I've left it, um, there's only really one side that I want to loan him out to. That's Millwall. So the next step from that is just to have a look at the training facilities. So you don't want any lower than good. Uh, ideally, I'll like to have uh, a little bit higher than that actually um, in in the training facilities if you don't have this screen this is on the higher tempo press skin uh, which is a good skin by the way um, it will be over here an overview and just check facilities and it's down here so good training facilities um, or better uh, hopefully better but you know it's it is what it is and that's all I can do at the moment all right, so for Gomez, when I'm keeping him at the club, what I'm going to do, as I said, is move him into the under-23s. Um, I won't be able to control the team, the general team training, uh, just so based around Gomez and some of the, you know, uh, better players or better hot prospects in the side in the under-18s. Um, so we're going to have to look at the overall squad. Uh, so I can't tailor make that to him. Uh, what I can do is just control his uh, development in his position and role and additional focus training. Uh, so we'll keep on with that. We'll keep on him on that attacking center mid role uh, because that's it looks like what I'm going to run with um, in the tactic itself. Um, then I'll switch between some of these um, advanced playmaker, attacking midfielder or Genche, and I think that's probably where I need to boost up, especially in the mental area. Um, what I will do also, I won't play him in um, in many league games at all. Um, what I will do is just give him those FA Cup starts, give him the League Cup starts, because uh, that's that's kind of realistic and that's where I see it. Uh, just remember, if you, if you caught the first episode or whatever, um, I'm not playing any of these games. 
games, uh, by the way. I'm leaving it all to the assistant manager, so I'm not going to just pick Gomez for every single game. But what I will do is come back for those League Cup matches or the FA Cup matches, especially if they're a side that's lower than us, um, which is a lot of sides in England, um, and then I will give him the start or, or at least get him off the bench. The other thing I might do, because it's around about that age, 17, 18, 19, is try to get a, a couple player traits that best suit my tactic and what I see uh, for Gomez and best suits his attributes, um, where, he's, uh, where he's strong at. Um, so that's that's what I might do. Um, uh, personality, I don't think I need too much uh, more in tutoring. Uh, determination, if someone comes along and his professional personality with uh, determination are a bit higher, I might get him uh, to tutor Gomez just to improve that determination up a little bit more. Okay, so now let's sim forward into the future one year and uh, see what Gomez has done out on loan and also when I've kept him at the club. Okay, so we're back and we've seen forward uh, almost a year. So we're on the 1st of July. Um, what you can see now is the starting attributes, the loan attributes, and also keeping the player at the club attributes. Um, down in the bottom corner of uh, each attribute kind of um, box, you can see an overall number in red. Uh, so that overall number is all I've done is uh, it's not very scientific. I've just added up every single attribute and that gives you the whole number of um, of attributes there. So if you just add it up, um, so yeah, not too scientific. No Excel uh, sheet needed for that. Uh, but as you can see, keeping him at the club um, gave a significant boost uh, compared to loaning the player out. And when he was out on loan, he pretty much started every match. He started 37 matches and came off the bench once. Uh, didn't have the best season. He got a 6 point five nine average rating I think it is uh, so that might have um, that might have given an effect to uh, what he actually got in terms of a boost of attributes and also uh, the training facilities is the, they're not quite what I would want uh, to be honest at just a good training facility so that that might have affected as well but that's that's what I see a lot especially when I loan out players or younger players at hot prospects go out to clubs I find they play terrible and also um, I find they don't really develop too much so that's why I normally my hottest prospects prospects I like to keep at the club and this is just kind of an example of um, uh, of what it can give you compared to keeping him at the club and you know give him a couple of cup, a cup games because he started in all the cup games and we had a bit of a run uh, he started in eight cup games he started actually in four matches or sorry um, yeah four matches uh, in, in the league that's because we pretty much wrapped up the league very early um, so that's why I gave him a couple starts and he only started in the teams that are you know in the relegation battle so I gave him a couple games there so nothing over the top uh, nothing too really unrealistic I think uh, for a, a, the hottest prospect at the club I think you'll give him a couple starts when you can so yeah starting attributes um, will just give that round number that 330, uh, 339 only going up to 344 when he was out on loan um, keeping him at the club 367 so there's about a, a 23 attributes um, swing there to keeping him at the club um, remember this is not the set standard it's not always going to be like that and I think if I loaned him out to a team with you know good facilities I think that probably would have made a difference also depending on how the team is going as well I think his average rating or how he gets on on the field I think that does give you a boost in attributes as well um, so yeah that's that's my little experiment done and dusted and I think I have made a point that keeping him at the club, keeping your hottest prospects at the club, really concentrating on the development, uh, I think that makes a big difference. Okay, just for some transparency, uh, this is the save file that he's kept at the club. There are all the attributes there. Uh, if you want to pause and go back and make sure I'm not... Um not pissing in your pocket. Um, there it is. I didn't do any player traits because I did sign a player with a model professional personality on the back end of the season. To be honest, at the start, I, I forgot. Um, so I'm getting him to tutor him. So hopefully he'll move up. He, he did move up in his determination to 17, which is in line with the player that's um, being uh, that's tutoring him. Um, personality that has moved up. Um, at the moment, but hopefully that can go up to a model professional, uh, which is always good. So I uh, haven't touched the player traits uh, for this year. So history. So as you can see um, in that second season, six appearances, but there's two starts and two off the bench. Uh, he scored two goals, scored on his debut, I think, which has been pretty good. Didn't have the best of times, 6.73. But in the uh, cup matches, as you can see, he played eight games, scored two goals, and he got a, a good average rating of 7.4. He did play a, a continental match. I think I was had a match pretty much wrapped up in the championship 
Champions League. So I did start him in that, and he um, he scored a goal. Um, so it's good. Uh, it's 8.9 average rating. So that's a little bit of transparency because, um, as I said, I haven't been picking the sides or, uh, yeah, I haven't been picking the sides at all. I've just left it up, up to my assistant manager and um, just to, once again, give you a bit of transparency on that. Um, my assistant manager won the manager of the year. Okay, so that's the end of the episode and pretty much the series. What I'm going to do is give you one last uh, episode because I think I've covered all the topics there in um, in developing a player. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring you one last episode. Is um, I'm going to sim forward throughout his whole career and I'll, I'll give it in a little chunk. So I'll go to you know 21, 25, and you know 29 or 30. Uh, see what happens to his attributes. I will still you know cut in and out and change his training and uh, you know have a look at his development. You know, he's going to get more game time as well when his attributes get up to the standard of play uh, that is that it is the Premier League. Um, so, yeah, we'll go, we'll go forwards uh, into the future for the next episode, and then we'll end it there. All right, guys, if you're enjoying the series, uh, please leave a like on the video. It always helps me out. It lets, you know, uh, lets me know that you like these, these kind of videos. Uh, if you're new to the channel, as always, please subscribe. Um, okay, that's it. All right, I'll see you next time.